What is America? Where do we come from, and where are we going? What makes a nation once founded upon truth and the principles of Jesus Christ now turn away from our foundation and find ourselves sinking in a pool of immorality, violence, and corruption? What happened? What made disciplinary problems with our children in schools go from chewing gum and talking out of turn to school shootings, teen suicide, and a flood of teenage pregnancies? Could it be because we have forgotten the God we once served? Sixty years ago, when we took Thou Shalt Not off the school walls and decided we no longer needed prayer in schools, did we open up the door for evil to let loose on our children? But more importantly, what are we doing about our problems now? Do our kids have an ally in the war for the heart and soul of America? Or will we be eternally lost forever? The time is now. Someone must reach our children. It all began back in 1966 in the little town of Britain, South Dakota with the birth of Bradley Dean. Bradley grew up in a world of uncertainties, moving around from town to town, school to school, having no father around for love, security, and guidance, Bradley found himself, even as a youngster, empty, alone, insecure, and always looking for acceptance. He hated school, to the point where he would sit in his classroom during lunchtime because he did not want to be around all the crowds of people in the lunchroom. As a teenager, he slowly began to steer down the wrong path, hanging out with the wrong kinds of friends, and eventually, at the age of 18, with the help and influence of MTV, and by his own choice, Bradley emerged himself into the rock scene playing the drums, partying, playing clubs, and touring the United States in band after band in a lifestyle typical to the rock scene of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Most people would think it would be a life of great fun and excitement, but even with all this, Bradley was still empty. One night in a club in Minnesota called the Iron Horse, everything came to a halt and Bradley experienced something that would change his life forever. I'll never forget the time that we were at the Iron Horse and when we were there I grabbed my girlfriend went around the corner and I said to her, I have to get out of here, I have to quit this band. It was like God had a rope around me and he was pulling me out of this place. This began a 10 month breaking period in which the Lord began to deal with Bradley in a way that he had never experienced before. I didn't know what was going on. I would just sit there and cry for hours in the car, and I only felt right when I was in the Word reading the Bible. Eventually, Bradley came to a point where... I said, God, if you don't answer me tonight, I'm done. I'm not going on with this anymore. That was after the thousandth time I've said it, of course. So what did I do? I went to church, and that night, what I was doing at home, I was pounding my hand on the floor saying, God, if you're there, if you're there, if you're there, answer me. And this guy walked up to me at church with a tear in his eye, he grabbed another guy as a witness, and he did the exact same thing I was doing at home, saying, you don't think God hears you, do you? And as he looked up at me with that tear running down his eye, he said, God does hear you. And it was after that night that the Lord began to place Bradley into full-time ministry. Bradley was asked to come to speak to the youth group at the church he was attending. While doing this, he was approached by someone who told him that he should do an assembly at Little Falls High School in Minnesota. That led to Bradley's very first assembly at Centennial High School, with Little Falls eventually to follow. Bit by bit, piece by piece, the Lord began to surround him with a team of people who carried the same heart for the youth of this nation and a vision to reach them right where they are at, in the schools. It began in the basement of his home and continued to grow until 30 people would pile into his house most every night, praying and seeking the Lord for the lost and for His will to be done. During this time, Bradley met and married Stephanie Joy just three days after the school shootings took place at Columbine High School. It was a marking point as to what they were called to do. Doing assemblies began slowly starting off with one high school the first year, three the next, nine schools the following year, which eventually led into 34 schools and then over 100 schools. From Minnesota to Florida, 
Virginia to Kansas, students across the nation are receiving a message of truth and hope that they are literally dying to hear. Beginning with the band Junkyard Prophet, voted second best unsigned band nationwide, Junkyard Prophet is used as the tool to have the hearts of the kids open to receive the message. This is an MTV generation who the former CEO of MTV said of the youth that watches programming, at MTV, we don't shoot for the 14-year-old, we own them. Junkyard Prophet is combating their push of immorality with the Christian message of hard-hitting truth without compromise. Then, after the live concert, students sit down for a heart-to-heart -heart assembly dealing with issues such as drugs, alcoholism, suicide, sickness versus choice, the media, our country, our veterans, our freedom, the Constitution, and much, much more, where the heart of each student is open to receive the truth and the response is overwhelming. It's, it's what we needed to hear instead of what they wanted us to hear. So I thought it was probably the best program I've ever had and I really liked it a lot. After the assembly, the students are divided by boys and girls into separate classes where the guys talk about the influence of music. What goes with saying you are what you eat? And so I guess with music, what you listen to is what you become. And the girls learn about what it means to be a virtuous woman, something young girls used to be taught in our nation, but are now left with the idea that you can do what you want to do, and who cares about anything else? Respect for like any adult to talk like that to me, especially in school, you know, not in any classes. Sources and media from across the nation are wondering what all the stir is about, from local news media. In rural parts of Minnesota, not too far from the Twin Cities here, there's a school principal who turned to a new source to reach his kids. Newspapers across the United States, national media out of Washington, D.C., and even requests from Nightline and BBC, it's only growing. Hitting issues with national speakers such as Dr. D. James Kennedy from Reclaiming America, David Barton with Wall Builders, Ann Blake Tracy, Senator Michelle Bachman, Reverend Sam Kyle and even John Lewis in Washington, D.C., you can see why pastors and even senators are becoming a part of the vision to reach this generation of kids. Reaching kids is the least we can do. Marilyn Manson said he was doing the job of the youth pastors. Well, we believe Marilyn is greatly deceived. Christ called us to aggressive Christianity. Passive Christianity is no Christianity at all. And that is why we do what we do. From schools to fundraisers, churches to festivals, youth meetings, and even prisons, the message doesn't stop there. CDs and t-shirts, magazines and books, radio on AM 980 KKMS in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and WYLL in Chicago, newsletters and street teams all carry the message of truth and as a beacon of light, spreading hope to all who hear without compromise. But more importantly, it's not what we say, but it's what they say. It made me really think of stuff that I haven't thought of before, and just, it really hit home what they were saying. For y'all, I like, got straight to the point, y'all you know, didn't like kid around about it, like, all this, what's happening. Not even words can express like how much feeling and everything that was put into this and everything that feedback from all the students and everything, it was just, it was awesome. I'm a prevention coordinator for Scott County and I just wanted to say that I thought your program was absolutely amazing. The format was incredible, you got the kids' attention before you ever tried to talk to them. The references used were wonderful, so I appreciate what you're doing, raising awareness to these kids about all the issues they face today. It was wonderful. For bookings or more information on You Can Run But You Cannot Hide, you may visit our websites. You Can Run But You Cannot Hide.com, JunkyardProfit.com, School of Hard Knocks Rocks.com, VirtueClass.com, and BradleyDean.com. Or call us at 763 559 5700 or 320 274 8400. We're bringing hope, reaching the youth of this generation, and reclaiming America for Christ. Who are we? Well, you can run, but you cannot hide. Run, 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 run.